Section 2 Review Problem Number 4. The following numbers represent the daily overtime hours worked by this employee for the week. 1.5, 2.5, 1, 3.1, and 0.5 hours. A says, what is the total overtime hours worked by this employee? The key word here to help us answer this question is total. Total is the result of an addition problem. So what it's asking us to do is to take those hours of overtime listed in the first paragraph of this problem and add them together. When you add these values together, you should end up with an 8.6 hours for the total, the result of that addition problem. The second part of this problem asks, if this person earns an overtime rate of $18.14 per hour, how much did she earn in overtime pay for the week? Well, to calculate pay or wages, we take the hours worked and multiply that by the hourly rate. So pulling that information out to solve this problem, the hours worked was what we just found in step A, the total overtime hours worked, is 8.6 hours. This problem tells us that the rate of pay is $18.14 per hour. So we'll put that in for our hourly rate. Every hour that they work overtime, they're receiving $18.14. Well, they worked a total of 8.6, so we'll take the 8.6 hours and multiply it by that hourly rate. When we look at this problem, the hours in the numerator cancel out the hours in the denominator, leaving us with money, which would be correct for a pay amount, and doing the multiplication of 8.6 times 18.14, the result is 156 and four thousandths. Since this is money, we want to round this to the nearest cent or two decimal places. So I'm going to look at the hundredths position. In the thousandths place, we have four. The rule for rounding, of course, is if this number is five or greater, we'll increase our position that we're rounding to. Since it's four, we'll leave the zero as is, and the amount of overtime received for this individual then is $156.